everyone, I'm Janet. Welcome to my home and welcome to my studio. Today, we are going to clean a very filthy piece of glass. We're gonna go into the kitchen, so let's get started. Okay, so I've gathered up my supplies and this is what I need. Distilled water, grain alcohol, whiting, which is calcium carbonate, and I like to use these magic sponges that you find in the grocery store. Some regular cleaning, window cleaning fluid. Cheap paper towels, not the good kind. The good kind leave lint behind. You don't want that. And then some flour sack, which I prefer. Some people just use paper towels. That's fine. I'm going to be making up a paste of 50 grams of my whiting, 40 milliliters of distilled water, and 10 milliliters of my grain alcohol. When I mix that all together, it has kind of a weird consistency. Um, and it's, it's kind of like that. And we're gonna put that aside and we're gonna save that for the last step that we're going to do when we clean our glass. There must be a million different ways to clean glass. This is just one way, this is my way. I don't have any fancy holders or anything like that. Um, so this is the best that I can do. I have to add a little extra effort in here because I have very hard water and I don't want that to show up on um, any of my plates in any fashion. So I have my very filthy piece of glass here and the first thing I'm gonna do is just under my regular tap water, I'm gonna rinse it off. I'm gonna put some soap on it. I'm going to do that again, but this time I'm going to use my little magic sponge. Oh, do not use one of these. This side will scratch the snot out of your plates. Don't do it. This though is nice and kind. So I have the initial grunge off of my plate. So my next step is I'm going to be washing it with some Windex. I've got Windex in here. If I was doing a whole bunch of plates right now, I would let this drip dry and then I would go through with a paper towel and wipe it clean before my final step. So right now we're just gonna dry this off and we're gonna move on to that last step. Okay, so I've wiped off my glass. It's pretty clean right now, but it's not perfectly clean. We're gonna make it perfectly clean. Notice that I am not putting my fingerprints on this glass anywhere. I do this part a little bit differently, I think, um, from everybody else, so take it with a grain of salt. Um, I take some paper towel and I dip this into that paste I made. I don't pour it on. Um, I just do this. It's a little easier for me. So once I get this covered like this and it's dry, um, if I'm going to have a big shoot, I usually stack them up just like this. That way I know what pieces of glass are cleaned up until this point. I have one small step to do and I know that my plate will be as clean as it can be. So I stack this, a piece of glass, a piece of paper towel, a piece of glass, a piece of paper towel, and uh, do it sort of sandwichy. I think it's very unorthodox, so don't tell the wet plate society on me. Okay. When you wipe this off, you must get every scrap of white off. If you get calcium carbonate in your silver bath, you're gonna screw up the pH, so good luck with that. Um, also, if you find that you have little black specks on your pictures, it's probably from the calcium carbonate. It's got into your silver bath and you know, you're in trouble. So 
don't get this in your silver bath. Wipe it off. Be really super careful with it. So now I have a really nice piece of glass and my next step would be to, to hit it with some canned air before I put my albumin on it. And then I would hit it with some canned air again because I'm like that. And you're good to go. So go shoot some plates today. Have a good day, everybody. And uh, I'll see you again. Bye-bye.